Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Photoshop in 5. Everyone is reminding us all the time to always stretch. But there is one place where you shouldn't stretch and that's with your text. However, sometimes we do need to make our type a little more bendable to make it fit where it needs to go. And in today's Photoshop in 5, I'll show you exactly how to do just that. So let's say, for example, you want to pitch a restaurant and you found the perfect venue that resembles the idea that you want, but it already exists and it has a name. Uh, well, let's, let's fix that. We can start by using our trusty spot healing tool. It's super simple. You just start dragging on top of the things that you want to remove and it's gonna sample from the surrounding areas. But don't worry if it's not perfect because we're just gonna cover it up with our own text. So for that, use the text tool and select the font you want or grab a new one from the Adobe fonts. They have a bunch of different categories for you to look for and find one that suits your project. We can type whatever we want our restaurant to be named and then click here for the warp text tool. Now they have all sorts of different warp modes for your text. Right now we're gonna go with arc and you can increase the bend, increase the distortion that are happening with your type within that shape. You'll see that now I'm using the transform tool, control T, to reshape it and reposition it. And it's a little bit of a push and pull of, you know, going in and out of the warp text tool and in and out of the transform tool to get it to fit where you want it to fit. And once we're satisfied, we can just double click the layer to open the layer style options. These are a series of modifiers that are applying through the whole of the layer that lets us style it however we want and doing all these tweaks to make it feel a bit more part of the environment. Now, the cool thing is because we are applying this to the layer and this is still a text layer, if, let's say, we decide to change the name of our restaurant, we can just go back to the text tool, click there, and type out the new name. And duplicate it, move it down to the one that we moved from the door. And using the little eye icons there, we can select which of the layer styles effect are activated or not, tweak a little bit the color, and we're good to go. Now Merchant's Arch is forever transformed thanks to this combo of text warp, transform, and layer styles. But sometimes the way you want to curve your text is not quite literal as, you know, curving on an arch, and it's more like a soft bend over a folded piece of paper. So in this case, we're going to create a new file. Uh, specifically, we're going to choose a letter sized file to, to open up. And all we're going to do is use Ctrl A to select all and Ctrl C to copy it. Then we jump back into our original image and paste the copied page. We're going to go in that new layer that we placed, right click on it and select convert to smart object. What we want to do is place this page over the existing page. For that, we're going to use our transform tool and we're going to rotate it so that the base of this page matches the base of the magazine. We're going to hold in control click in each of these points of the paper and drag them. And we can lower the opacity to make it a little easier to follow to see if we're placing things in the correct spot. Now to get that bend, we're gonna right click on top of the image and select warp. And you can see it gets a lot more flexible and malleable when we are doing that. Once that is done, we can press enter. We're gonna double click in that layer that we converted into a smart object and it's gonna pop up in a new file. We can bring now any image that we want to be in that page. In this case, let's bring this uh, good boy, find that type that we want, place it, and you know, might as well throw another curve and bend on it, tweak the colors. But once we're satisfied, we can just save. And once we return to that main project file, it's right there, fitting perfectly to the perspective and to the page. And this is how you can easily swap the contents of a magazine. Whoever is reading, be it a doggo, be it a human, it can be reading whatever you want it to. These tools and tips that we've seen today can be combined in however ways you want. And they can be used even on things that are not text, just straight up images to make them fit wherever we need them to fit. And that brings us to the end of another Photoshop in 5. Thanks for being here. I hope that helped you figure out all your text problems and make it fit wherever you need it to fit. If you have any questions about text or anything else regarding Photoshop, drop in the comments. Until the next time.